What's interesting about TV was 10 years ago, we did not have one asset, one dollar of loan in the United States. But today we have 8 million customers, 250 billion assets, deposits of about 206 billion, tons of loans, 25,000 employees in the US, and locations 1,300. In a 10 year span during one of the most difficult periods of time for the banking industry and the financial services industry. So when I came to the company, I realized that I really wanted to make sure that we had a measurement program that really, really could make a difference. I've never been asked to really measure PR. I mean, physicians are very focused on evidence-based, they like data, but they've always said, wow, those PR stories are so great, very compelling. But we really, it was our team that said, you know, we want to be demonstrating what is the value of PR on the bottom line. And we went through some cost-cutting measures last year, cut $330 million out of our budget, and I was asked to cut 70% of my budget. And I started to think if we weren't measuring, we wouldn't be able to, to maintain it. So not only after I, I shared and have been ongoing sharing our um, metrics on public relations and the impact on the organization, not only did I not have to cut, but they actually add to, added to my budget. So this is really important for us. And you know, Gorkana has been terrific because they look at the coverage and analyze it for us and help us understand you know, what worked and what didn't. And when they can track our target markets, our target messages, are we hitting the right places and the right, you know, the right media? Because we know from our research that those folks are more willing to travel the more they know about the Cleveland Clinic living in these areas. So um, as of today, more or less, we have like uh, almost 25 million followers um, uh, worldwide. And the growth that we see is um, around 14%. We're estimating to reach uh, in April next year um, 30 million followers, which is also in line with the, the goal that we have um, identified as reaching 50 million people by 2017. So it's also about creating systems and, and tools to be able to track in real time what is that that, that we do. And what Jenny mentioned that we, um, we can see upstairs is, uh, is going to be like a, it's a dashboard where we can see in real time all the conversations around the, the, the United Nations General Assembly and also the main topics that we are covering during the week. Uh, we're talking about peace, about child protection, gender, water, water and sanitation. And we have designed, um, we have designed a, pro a, a dashboard on a project that is able to track in real time what people are saying um, across different uh, social networks. The research and the insights really help because my, you know, insights are hard to understand what they are and how to get them. And I think it took us a while to figure out what is an insight, and that's where, you know, help from you is is really important. But it really helps us divide, you know, change our strategy and make sure that we're doing the right thing. For us in, in PR, especially in healthcare, it's important to have some kind of call to action because we're not. Uh, selling things through advertising, it's really important that we capture that um, information from, from potential patients. Focus on outcomes, uh, not just the outputs, the quantity versus the quality, and uh, really partner with a, um, a strong team, and that's what we've, we've really done. So what I'd like to do is kind of just go through some of the insights I'd like to share with you as far as this journey of measurement, what I have learned, and how we're applying it at TD. Um, first, Insight, I would say, is develop a holistic and measurable dashboard aligned to achieving business objectives. You know, the human nature is to complicate things. Do what you can to keep it as simple as possible. Deliver macro and micro metrics on a consistent basis. So what does that mean? Try to aggregate the cumulative impact that we have on the business so we can help influence how we should be thinking about investing in the future. And don't be tempted by what I call voodoo metrics. What I mean by that is, I have tried to find the perfect index over the last 10 or 12 years, and it's hard to find an index that you can explain to business partners that makes it sound like you're really driving great results for the business from a public relations standpoint. And I remember when we were going through this process before we started the RFP at eBay, it was a 45-minute discussion. We were having our PR agency to explain to me how to explain our index to business partners. And I said, we're in trouble. Because if it takes that long for you to explain it to me so I can explain it to somebody else, I don't think they're going to buy it. They're going to see it as black box, and therefore, let's not look at that. So part of the reason we really focused on metrics was really to make sure we have the right metrics as far as how we want to drive the business. And then remember, you can't evaluate what you can't measure. The idea here is you got to have a goal. If you don't have a goal, you can't measure. Now we, we score each of our stories. We really look at an algorithm. We, we score them from negative 100 to positive 100. We try to own the story, really be in depth, because through a lot of research that we've done, 
we realize that the more people know about the Cleveland Clinic, the more likely they're willing to travel, get on a plane and come for care. So they travel for transplants, they travel for heart care, they travel for certain cancers, complex um, digestive diseases, and a, a couple others. So we really wanted to focus our PR efforts on uh, getting people to get on a plane and travel to Cleveland for care. So we really focus on scoring and, and the quality of the story, and we also look at sort of the golden egg and how do we really make sure that we focus on that, although quantity is still important because we want to serve all of the media markets that are so important to us. This is where we were today about a year ago. Then, this is how we measured and how we did measurement on everything we were doing from a PR standpoint. Traditional media only, no social extensions. So when I came to TD, I said to Jill, who was running measurement, how do we do it? She said, John, I have a spreadsheet, and I have a number two pencil. And every month I take the Google Alerts feed, and I calculate out tone, reach, and volume. I said, you're kidding me. She goes, no, that's how we do it here at TD Bank. I said, that's not how we're going to do it at TD Bank. I said, because there's a new way of doing it that's going to help you not spend 250 hours a year, correct, manually inputting something that I don't see until a month after the event that has an index of little value to the business. It was a quality scorecard based on subjective index factors. So we talked about black box index. If you have one that works, please share it with me because I'm really struggling to be able to make that work effectively. Reactive, no real time capability. We're in the middle of a crisis. And Chris, you and I knew about crisis. I couldn't tell you how well we were doing except by feel. That's a dangerous place to be. And then lastly, limited alignment with business goals. Try to explain a spreadsheet with a number two pencil manually input at 30 days to your CEO. We didn't do it because it wasn't the right thing to do. Here's where we are today. We're here because of our partnership with Cision and Gorkana. We went, really in nine months, after doing a RFP where we included all the major, quote, experts. Here's where we are today. Integration of mainstream and social channels and outlets. Real-time issues management capability. Man, I love that. I like to know how we're doing in the moment on any issue because when you're in banking, you're dealing with issues a lot and you're dealing with them every day and you're dealing with them seven days a week. Web analytics plugins, including a tie into our brand tracker, which we're gonna be announcing in, no in November, which allows us to see how what we're doing from a PR standpoint is actually influencing the key attributes in our brand tracker. Vastly improved competitive analysis. We believe we touch above our, we, we punch above our weight when it comes to PR. We believe that, but I can't prove that. We're gonna be able to prove that pretty soon in the next 30 days. And then lastly, metrics align to business partner goals. We can show business partners, I don't care if they're retail, they're commercial, or they're corporate. We can show them exactly what the spend is doing, how it's influencing, how people think about TD Bank against our competition, against in region as well. And we can actually put a numeric to it as far as what that cost is versus other levers. That's gonna generate some really, really exciting conversations.